Hello Shitheads. I just want to put my thoughts out there on how I personally feel about the new Saw movie, Saw 9, Spiral from the Book of Saw. I'm going to be talking about what I like so far about Spiral from the Book of Saw and also what I don't like. First of all, I was shocked and beyond fucking thrilled, I mean over the moon, when Darren Van Bowden revealed on his Instagram that he was returning to the director's chair for Saw 9. I never saw that coming and I seriously should have. Darren directed Saw 2, 3 and 4. The more successful movies and when he left, that was when the franchise actually began to go downhill because he wanted to pursue other projects. With the return of Darren and Bowsman, I have more faith in the success of Spiral. Josh Stolberg and Pete Goldfinger, who penned the script for Jigsaw, have also came back and wrote the script for Spiral as well. Chris Rock is also an executive producer on Spiral, has written the story, and it appears to be that Josh and Pete are adapting his story and converting it into the Saw universe. The same way that Lee Wanell converted Darren Van Barsman's script, The Desperate, into what is now Saw 2. I really think that Patrick Melton and Marcus Dunstan, who were the screenwriters of Saw 4 right through to Saw 7 3D, should have, honest to God, come back to write Spiral. Jigsaw was a refreshing film, but it felt like a fan-made movie. I was disappointed that it basically recycled one of the twists from Saw 2, and that was to do with tricking the audience into thinking that the events of the game taking place in the barn were also happening in the present day, when they were not. Saw 2 did have the same twist. It reminded me of how Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens, uh, was basically a replicate of Episode 4, A New Hope. However, with the return of Darren the Bowsman back as the director, I believe that he is able to bring the best ideas out of the writers he is with. I have noticed that he's able to have a way of working with the team and helping everyone's ideas and the narrative of the story gel together so that they are able to come up with something good. The fact that Chris Rock, who is new to the franchise, wrote the story means that a fresh pair of eyes have actually stepped in. That is exactly what this franchise needed. Someone who can come in and help steer the film back in the right direction again and restore it to its former glory, hopefully. There is a chance that Spiral will succeed due to the hype around it with the fact that Samuel L. Jackson and Chris Rock have joined the franchise. So that is bound to get some heads turning and some bums into the cinema seats. I'm not entirely sure what to make of the fact that Tobin Bell is not returning as John Kramer, the Jigsaw Killer. I mean, Tobin Bell is the face of the Saw franchise, the same way that Ghostface is the face of the Scream movies, Freddy Krueger is the face of the Nightmare on Elm Street films, Jason Voorhees is the face of Friday the 13th movies. So they are bringing in a new killer. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they brought Logan back from Jigsaw in this one, even though it's been stated repeatedly that Spiral will have a new cast and have minor connections to the previous Saw films. I think either Samuel L. Jackson or Chris Rock's new partner is the new killer, to be honest. Maybe even Chris Rock is the new killer. I mean, Jigsaw, Hoffman and Amanda all put themselves into the games so that not only because the rules would be followed when they were there, but so that suspicion would have been thrown off them completely as being an additional accomplice to Jigsaw. This film is not a reboot and has been confirmed several times to be part of the Saw universe. They appear to be turning the Saw franchise into an anthology series at this point. I mean, it is called Spiral from the Book of Saw. Either way, I am still looking forward to seeing Spiral and how it plays out as well and whatever connections it's going to have to the previous movies. Darren and Boisman did tweet a photo of a SWAT team entering a room from the set. It really does look like the SWAT team may have found the bathroom from the original Saw movie. I do wonder if we will see Detective Mark Hoffman's corpse or not. I mean, he still could have escaped. Originally, for Saw 3, Detective Eric Matthews was going to smash his foot off the bathroom floor before they decided to have him hit it with the toilet lid. I'm just wondering, would Hoffman be crazy enough to eat his foot in order to escape? However, Saw 8, Jigsaw, did annoy me as they never mentioned Detective Mark Hoffman, which makes me wonder if whether the bathroom has been discovered or not. I mean, it looked like the hacksaw that Dr. Lawrence Gordon cut his foot off with in Saw 1 is the same hacksaw that was in Jigsaw. It also really bothered me when I was watching Jigsaw and they never mentioned Hoffman being a possible suspect as they never got him in the end after Saw 3D. I also really hope that they have shot and edited Spiral the same way as the other Saw movies. You know, with the fast cutting 360 shots and flash frames as well as the overexposed frames. All of that was excluded from Jigsaw. Now, don't get me wrong, Jigsaw was an interesting movie, and I know that the producers wanted to try a new take with the series. They wanted to appeal to a new audience as well as the older hardcore fans of the series. But the only way that was really going to happen was by bringing back a former Saw director, and in this case, it was Darren and Barsman for Spiral, whereas the Spirit Brothers directed Jigsaw, and that's why it didn't look and feel like the previous Saw movies. I mean, I would have been happy enough if they got Kevin Gordon back to direct Spiral instead. 
When Jigsaw was announced to be officially happening in 2016, both Darren and Bowsman and Kevin Gorder wanted to come back and direct it individually. However, the producers, Mark Berg, wanted to go in a different direction with Jigsaw. As long as they don't bring back David Hackle, to be honest, I'm happy enough for that there. I mean, no harm in the man, but I really didn't like his directing at all the Saw 5 and the development of Saw 7 3D. As long as it's either James Wan, Kevin Gorder, or Dan Brush directing the next Saw movie, I'm good with that. Also, another YouTube channel I recommend all you Saw fans to check out is a guy called Real Talk. This is another YouTuber who is dedicated to the Saw films just as much as I am. He loves them just as much as I am, if not more. He also has come up with theories about the characters from the Saw franchise that I have never even thought of. That's all I have to say for now. Thanks for listening. See you there.